Until five months before he died, Jack was a fit and healthy teenager with a passion for life. He was a mad Rangers football club fan and loved being the goalie for his local team, the Mid Calder Colts. At the age of 15, he was an accomplished tuba player and member of his school band. More than anything though, he loved spending time with his family, his friends and his girlfriend Hannah. He was an ordinary boy, but his attitude to life and to death made him extraordinary. When Jack was told nothing more could be done and his time was running out, incredibly, his thoughts were for other people. When I found out that there was a possibility it could happen, I sort of just was thinking of the worst so that if it was good news, well, it was good news, but if it wasn't, then I was prepared for it. So, yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was too bad. It was just, um, I've now been out with my beautiful girlfriend for 20 months, and uh, it was just the thought of how do I tell her. That was the most difficult. I wasn't upset, really, about the news, but it was that that upset me more. It was more how is other people going to cope with it. I just, I just want uh, everybody to be happy and not to, not to worry. Jack wanted his legacy to be better support for other young cancer patients and their families. I've obviously seen what happens and um, suffered the, the pain and went through it all. So. I know what it's like to not be able to do things that people who are well enough to do can do. And um, I just, I've always liked to help out other people. And um, I would just love to, we've set up a Team Jack account, which is the money's going to go into that and then that'll be used to, um, that'll be used to hopefully help out other people who are in the same position that I've been in and so that they can get what they want as well. Jack's given loads of ideas about cafe um, and various things like that but mark our words this boy will touch many people's lives for many many years to come and we will make sure that he and what he's done in the type of person he is and his beautiful smile is never forgotten. Over the last year Alison, Jack's sister Amy other family members and countless friends have been fundraising tirelessly to keep that promise. From marathons to cake sales, concerts to Amy's CD, the efforts and incredible generosity of so many people has helped Team Jack raise an amazing £165,000. With that money, the charity is already supplying Jack's old ward at the Sick Kids with snacks, goodie bags and food vouchers as well as supporting York Hill and the Children's Ward at St John's Hospital in Livingston. And in December, the charity opened Jack's Den Mark I, which is helping dozens of children with cancer and their families through sibling and parent support groups, drop-in sessions and art therapy. Now the big challenge, the really big challenge, is to raise £3.3 million for the purpose-built Jack's Den. It was his ultimate dream and he left it in our hands. Please help make those dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh.